MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the National League Division Series between the Milwaukee Brewers and the New York Mets. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Looking at these two squads, it's clear both of them have several guys that can hurt you with the bat. It's not just the middle of the order guys that you have to look out for as a pitcher. So the team that gets the timely hitting and quality at bats is probably going to prevail. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Closer to the start of game one, let's join public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your 2021 New York Mets. Briefly now, we'll look at the two starters who get the ball here in game one. And a look now at the batting order for the visiting Milwaukee Brewers. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Matt, you take a look at this lineup. I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day, and when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. Here's the defensive alignment for the New York Metropolitans. And guys, the thing I want you to take a look at today is in today's game, the new age, everyone wants to move around. This manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them. So striding in, Travis Shaw. And Milwaukee with an opportunity for more damage Travis. here in the first. And he's right here one time. And that misses two and one in previous duels with the Grom. Just a couple of matchups. No. Into the box now, Kevin Mendoza. It'll lead things off here in the Lead bottom half of the first. The center fielder, Kevin Mendoza. Here's the first pitch to him. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Where's the one now? The 1 0 home is looked at for the first strike. No one out now. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. This is pulled into right. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. The second baseman, number six. Hey, we got one out here. 
first pitch of the at bat on its way. Left side played on the backhand. Throw to Murphy's in time and there are two gone now. And with two away now let's give you a look at the big picture here. There you see the participants in this year's playoffs. In is Christian Yelich. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Christian Yelich. Hey, get ahead. Stay ahead right here. Here comes the first pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Hey, two outs, huh? Bases are empty here with two men out. The next 0 2. Just hung in there on that one. The next 0 2. Popped him up. Yeah, you got, you got Simeon is there, and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. They trail things here two to nothing. So striding forward now, Marcus Simeon. He'll get us started in the top of the second. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good. And that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. The 2-1 home. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Is that gun reading right right there? Because that just registered at 91 miles an hour on a slider. If he's working that pitch, rip, that's right most here. guys' fastballs. It's going to be a long game. And he fouls this one off. Another try at 2-2. Two -two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Hey, d -Roll, Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door. Is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. Standing in, Max Hamilton. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Max Hamilton. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Up and in there with the first pitch fastball. It's ball hey, one. Nice and patient. Get your pitch. Two out, nobody on. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. Can't allow yourself to lose focus right here with the pitcher up. Got to stay on the attack. Minimize pitches against these guys and put them away early.
breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Gone in order are the Brewers, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Late Michael Conforto. He's Let set to lead off the back. home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only Scott down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Ball one. Two and oh. Two well count the pitch. Three and oh now. Hey, no outs now. From the wind up, the three oh pitch. Three and one. Three one is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Hey, this pitcher better watch nice himself right here. Himself. The way this guy's swinging, he's got aggressive things on his mind. Now that's popped up. Shaw in foul ground, and this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Little game going on right now. Being late on that fastball after the change, he had to be sitting off speed right there. Line to the right side. Henniger is there to put it away for route number one. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Fifth, the first baseman. Here's CJ Crone now. Crone. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. Crone, an imposing right-handed figure at six foot four inches tall. He was selected in the first round back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. 1 and 2 now. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. One out, nobody on. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And good. up next will be the shortstop, shortstop. Ahmed Rosario. Ahmed Rosario. Hey now, we got two. We got two. Here's the first pitch to him. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Bases are empty here with two men out. up and the 0-2 pitch and here's a fastball on 0-2 but it misses one and two now you know Matty I'm not surprised by that pitch raise the eye level a little bit maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here the one two 
neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. The one two. This is on the ground over the first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. So we're runner at first here with two gone in yeah. the inning. And into oh, bat next man. will be J.D. Davis. Yeah, From the stretch, ran the circle change in on him, a ball and no strikes. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Now the 1 0. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Go, Waiting on go. it is Henniger. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mets strand one. They're down two to nothing. Now batting, Adrian Ramirez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. The 2 2. Is swung on and missed strike three. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. The first baseman, number nine, Daniel Murphy. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. Now that left fielder, Jose Mark. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Three and one count to hey, the Brewers left there. fielder. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Swing and a liner. Get down, ball. Get down. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Uh, hey, d -Roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple of runs early already in this game, and now he gives up the two-out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible. And if two-out knocks are the answer, then so be it. Now back. Here we go now. Come on now. The One third time. Rabbit. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Milwaukee leaves one. They're up two to nothing. Now to the plate, Tomas Nido, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The catcher. Come on. Nido. First offering on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a step on first himself for the out. So one man gone for the Mets in the third. And that'll Got bring up the converted no shortstop picture. from his days at Stetson University, Good Jacob wrong. DeGrom. First pitch of the at-bat. 
hit in the air down the right field line. Henniger is over and he puts it away in foul ground for the second out. Stepping into the box, Kevin Mendoza. Now back, the center fielder, Kevin Mendoza. Get ahead of him right here. First pitch coming, here it is. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Two out, nobody on. Here it comes, 0-2. Still no balls and two strikes. The next 0 2 is looked at for ball one. And you know what? Give this guy some credit up there because this had the look of being a very quick inning. He's been able to stretch this at bat out a little bit, and that's something that shouldn't go unnoticed. This is pulled into right. Henniger is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. They're still down. It's 2 0. Digging in, Mitch Hanniger picked up an RBI right on a sack fly in his right first field. appearance. Mitch Hanniger. Hit in the air down the right field line, but this will wind up being a foul ball. Hit hard on the ground is short. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Up next for Milwaukee. Wait for your pitch up there. The catcher, Yasmani Grandal. The three and one pitch. Too high, and that cost him ball four. So coming to the plate, Marcus Semyon. Now battle. The shortstop. Mark Grandal, the runner at first with one Here gun in the inning. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. And he missed with this one up around the noggin. Now it's full. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now the payoff pitch home. Swing, high oh, drive, yeah. left field and deep. And this one is gone. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. His first homer here in the series as the Brewers have now taken a four-to-nothing lead. Hey, that's one of the toughest parts about standing out there on the bump, giving up a long home run or giving up a bomb at any time as a pitcher. You just have to regroup and get back on that horse. The center fielder, number two, Leonis Martin. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Hey, get your pitch up there. Let's go. 
The one two is taken for ball two. Change up taken for ball three well below the zone. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring hey, at the moment. Patient. Pick one out and drive it, kid. Now the three and two pitch. And it's fouled away. Straight up, but this will land untouched. Hey, let her fly up there, huh? Fouled off. Keep battling, young man. Three foul balls in a row. He is calibrating that heater and the off speed. Let's see if he can catch something on the barrel. Making him work out there. The ninth hey, pitch of the at there, bat huh? coming up. Now that ball is smoked, carrying the deep left. Gone! Back-to-back -back homers. A solo shot here to left. His first homer so far in the series. And the Brewers have made this a 5-0 ball game. As a pitcher, you worry about giving up the long ball to the meat of the lineup. But when the two guys at the bottom of the lineup torch you, it's really disheartening. These guys have weapons everywhere. Stepping in, Max now Hamilton. Back. And here's an at-bat you don't yeah, want to miss. Fly, fly. is something to see. So we'll have to be dealt with carefully here. Hey, need you right here. One time. Let's go. Your pitch, your pitch, huh? Let's go. First offering on its way. And they'll start things out with a change up here, but this is a bit too tight. It's ball one. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into Come this on, thing. Big guy, get your pitch. The 1-0 is a fastball that misses. Oh this offense is absolutely feasting on hey, these count like leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance of feeling good about his effort tonight, this pitcher has got to get back in the strike zone. 3-0 to him now. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. And that's in there, three and one. Hey, that 3-0 oh, pitch might have been important right for him here. right there. Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here. Might want to cheat towards one of the corners. And he misses here, ball four. And somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously now, hasn't heard that one. The second baseman. Adrian Ramirez. The 1-1 one, one is laid off for ball two. You know, guys, these hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far, and clearly they're all on the same page. The plan is simple. Lay off that slider and make it bring up something straight in the strike zone. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. But he will haul this in on the run as he had to go back to the warning track to do it. And there are two away. So a runner at first with two away. The and up next, postseason record holder Daniel, Daniel Murphy. Murphy. Hey, put one in the cast right here, huh? Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets' bullpen. 
three runs already home here. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Brewers five and the Mets nothing. Next for the Mets, Jeff McNeil. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. This is pulled into right. Henniger is there and he makes the catch for the out. Digging in for his second at bat, Christian Yelich. So far, like 0 for 1 with a fly out. Yeah. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Where's that one now? Here we go. Ball one. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Hey, we got one. The 1-1. One, one. Hard hit toward the hole. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. You take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. The left fielder, number 30. Into the Michael. box, Michael Conforto. Conforto. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Hey, we got one. And he'll snap one over to first. And a dive, but he's back in. Yelich stands at first with one out. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Settling in now, CJ Crone. A chance to cash in here, and don't be surprised if he does. Certainly known as one of the best clutch hitters in the sport today. the stretch here's the pitch and he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one this is absolutely a huge spot right here they have to find a way to get something out of this half inning I don't care if it's one run or two hey, runs right you now. have to find a way to at least give yourself a little shot of confidence that you can get back into this one a ball and a strike to the Mets first baseman he's set here comes the one one in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now Trying to send him packing for the second time. Fouled away. This is foul right side. 
when you have two strikes on you as a hitter if you get something that you can handle you have to find a way to do some damage with it that was a missed opportunity to two balls and two strikes now tough to take a pitch like that right there especially in a one two count you almost get in that auto swing mode great job to work the count back to even and that's low so a good eye there as he works the count back full you can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher but you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan another full count pitch on its way swing and there it goes deep to left no chance at bringing this one back and it's gone so a three run blast to straight away left his first homer here in the series and it's a 5-3 game now So the bases are clear now following the home run. Oh, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Ahmed okay. Rosario. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Cold strike one on the circle change. Good pitch. Wind up and the 0 1. And he fouls this one off. Three runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And that's in there for a called third strike on the split fingered fastball, two away. Coming to the plate now, J.D. Davis. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The third baseman, J.D. Davis. First pitch on its way. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Three runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. I know he stole a strike right there, but he better be careful with that curveball. That's coming across and catching a lot of plate. And if he stays back, he's going to drive that thing with some serious authority. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. The 0 2 once more. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Another 0 2 home. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. Here we go right now, though. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. He's just having a hard time putting this guy away. Four foul balls in this AB. I don't think this pitcher has got something that he can get a swing and a miss on. Swing and a liner. Foul. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And now this will be the tenth pitch of the at bat. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left. We played four full. The Brewers lead this one five to three.
sliding in once again. Jose Martinez, one for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And the Brewers get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. Any hitter will tell you that a shot like that just feels different. It sounds different off the bat. See his arms get extended. Right arm tucked up against his body. Barrel the bat all over the ball. And he smokes it right off the wall in left center. A little more hang time, and that one probably gets out of here. Here comes Clint Hurdle up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not Your go down as a quality start, that's now for sure. Seth Lugo, down. the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen that's to do the pitching. Lugo. Pitches a fastball swung on and missed two and two. We can do it. No one better. Let's do it. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Martinez leads off second with nobody out. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Digging in now for the Brewers, now Mitch batting. Hanniger. Right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Hey, one time, right now. Here we go. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. Little hesitation right there by the batter. It was great oh, execution right by the pitcher down and away. But that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. Now Hanniger with a drive. That one's hit well to deep left field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So a three-run shot to left center, his first homer so far in the series, as they open it up to eight to three. Guys, we've seen four big balls between the two teams so far today. What are your impressions of the long ball display we're watching? Matty V, this is kind of a mini home run derby deal. Now, ball flying out of the ballpark today. Just great approaches by both lineups today. We were around the cage during batting practice. Both were super. Now this ball is hit out to deep left center. Mendoza racing back. That one's out of here. Back to back home runs. So a solo shot here to left center field, his first homer here in the series, as it's now a six-run ball game. strike on the inside and he can't believe it at the plate it's one and two now and one time right now the one two good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive drive that pitch huh Here's a pop-up now. 
McNeil is camped under this one. And he's got it for the first down. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Leonis Martin comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home Atta run is boy, a home nice run. Take. Two balls and a strike to Leonis Martin. Hey, see it drive it. See it drive it. Now the two-one pitch will not catch the zone. Ball three. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another on, great baby. hitting count. Get your pitch. Come on, let it fly right here. Here's a drive out toward left center like field. He's around first, heading for two. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Wow, this is a perfect example of a wily veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, and just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to smack it to the opposite field for a double. Now back. The, the pitcher, Max Hamilton, yeah. steps hey, up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So hey, let's see if that is indeed right on it's right here. Out. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Four runs here in this half inning. Let's go, man. Hits this one hard the other way. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Hey, don't let the fact that this guy's on the mound fool you right here. This guy has a nice approach at the plate, knows what he's doing, has history. I'm not surprised he was able to mix in a base now. The batter number 15, second baseman, Adrian Ramirez. The three two one more time swing hey, line up. drive that's going to be trouble and the runner scores from third as they extend their lead Hamilton blows through the stop sign headed for home and he's safe at the plate as they push their lead to eight Atta now boy, nice rip this thing was a double or more the second it left his bat he really drove it well and it ended up one hopping the wall out there and more importantly he picks up two RBI along the way. The first baseman, number nine, Daniel Murphy. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. A leap, but he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. Ramirez rounds third and is digging for the plate. He scores, and they now lead by hey, nine. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance and he doesn't try to do too much right here he just takes what's there safely on second and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout hey get on plus here left fielder Jose Martinez fouled off <laughs> and one time right now kid here we go The one two misses off the plate. Out of boy, spit on it. Right guy, right spot. Come on now, kid. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? 
I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit oh, that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive right. it? But it's really hard Draw. to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. Murphy stands at second with two gone. Hey, your pitch. Your pitch. He's coming to you. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Now a long throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Man, this thing's blown open right here. As they've exploded for eight runs in this inning alone, everyone knows that offense is contagious. That much is pretty obvious in this one. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Well, this inning pretty much has been one to forget for him, but he's still out there. And it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done, though. In the air now, out to right field. After it is Yelich. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Big inning for him, though, as they bat around and score eight times to open up this lead even further. Last half of the fifth coming up. Brewers are out in front, 13 to 3. Striding into the box, Tomas Nito. He leads off this go. half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. You could clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call. And his manager, he didn't like it either, as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. The windup and the 0-1. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And now a pitch on the way. Again, he sends it out of play. Ah, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0-2 and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. Your Brandon Nimmo please. will move into the on-deck circle the now to try to get something Double started down. here with one gun in the Brandon. inning. Nimmo. In there for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. It's really important to be a second baseman and have some athletic ability. And how about this right here? He goes up high to snag this line drive that was definitely headed to the outfield for a base hit. The Into the box field. now, Kevin, Kevin Mendoza. Mendoza. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No hits to this point. Here we go. Now the 0 1. A high fastball is in there. 
there seemed to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. I, I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone or just out of the zone. But something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. Bases are empty here with two men out. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three, and they remain well, well behind. Robert Gesellman gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Robert Gesellman. Ready for another shot now. Yosemite Grandal. One for two in the ballgame thus far. That wasn't a bad pitch in his last at bat when he hit that home run opposite field. Sometimes as a pitcher, you simply have to tip your cap to the hitter. That was a really good swing and a great piece of hitting. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Looks like he was trying to bust him inside, and he might have held on to it just a little bit too long. Just like that, the leadoff man is aboard. At the plate, Marcus Simeon. And if you remember, I'm sure he does. He hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Simeon. Grandal aboard right here, here at first with nobody out. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Feed up and drive it, huh? The one-two. Popped him up. McNeil ranging into shallow right. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Here's Leonis Martin. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Leonis. Get your pitch, see through, huh? Let's go. Oh, and he leaves that one right over the plate as this is sent high and deep out to right center field. And it is gone. A home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center, his second of the game, as they just continue to pour it on here. Standing in now, Max yeah. Hamilton, Hamilton towards second. On the first, and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Hey, come on now, big dog. Get your the batter pitch. number 50. Second baseman, Adrian. And a fastball Rob misses Pierre. there, ball four. Into the box, Daniel Murphy. Two hits in four attempts walking. to this point. The first two out with the man at first. Daniel Murphy. Go, go, Runners go, off go, for go. second. In there, now the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. At the plate, Jeff McNeil. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear Where that the go? plan of attack Pull against the top of the order the has worked. Basement. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, 
You know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Hey, Whatever on, they man. discuss nobody coming out. into this game has worked out beautifully. And here's a fastball called for strike one. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. Now the pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Two. two great pitches down in the zone. Interested to see where he goes now. Does he bounce something in the dirt? Does he go elevated fastball? A lot of options at hand right now. Here it comes, 0-2. Hit weakly on the ground to short. Simeon is up with it, and the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. One away now for the Mets in the sixth, and up now next, back. the sweet swing and left-handed hitting outfielder Rick Christian Yelich. Yelich! Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Breaking ball called just a one bit out, low. One out. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Ready now, Michael Conforto. A hit now in two tries so far. Left fielder, Michael Conforto. First pitch on its way. Line drive, base hit to right. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. That was pretty obvious in live action that that ball was hit hard. And after analyzing it with our show track technology, we see that our eyes did not deceive us. 114 miles an hour was the exit below. An impressive swing of the bat. Stepping in now, CJ Krohn. As he pops the first pitch foul oh, behind the plate. A hit and two tries for him so far. Oh, now, get a two ball right here. now a splitter and he lays off a ball and a strike. Not a surprise to see that low splitter there. Anything with downward movement like that is going to be at the top of the list in a double play situation. Yelich on second. Conforto at first, one gone. <laughs> Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. The batter, number one, good stop. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Two left for the Mets, and as you can see, they are way behind. Wham! Here's Daniel Murphy now. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. Hey, let's get up there, huh? Daniel Murphy. Here we go, here we go. Now the payoff pitch home. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff fan aboard to start the seventh of the ball. Right about now, the manager. That could be the pitcher. Hamilton, eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded in 
and two away. Get your pitch. Here's the first pitch to him. Starting with a sinker. That sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1 0. Side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Bases are loaded hey, here, two down. Where are the Max? Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. Hey, let her rip one time. Hey, get your good one up there, huh? Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. So they wind up with a couple of gift runs here on no hits. As the... Ready for another chance? J.D. Davis. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, North. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. And he lays off the 0-2 splitter. One and two now. The pitch. Ball two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0-2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Hey, here went. now the 2-2. And he fouls this one off. in this A.B. right here. He's really making this pitcher grind for everything. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Davis is retired, and there's one away. Stepping up now, Tomas Nido. He's 0 for 2 Double. with a strikeout in this one. Nido. First pitch on its way. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. One out, nobody on. Hit on the ground for Simi and it's short. Fielded cleanly. Throw to Murphy's in time and there are two gone now. <laughs> Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. You're in a cesspit. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 52. Go ahead. Good hit the other way out toward right field giving Chase his Hedegar but he won't get there it falls in Dan right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you as a pitcher were you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track I'll be honest with you Dero you're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that white ball dark <laughs> brown or black glove that I never really ever yeah, turned man. around to even notice where they were playing I was concerned about getting the guy out Now 
down, two down. Hit on the ground for Simi and it's short. Scooped up and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Mets leave one and they remain well, well behind. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bungle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now with the play, Christian Yelich. He singled his last time up. The right fielder, Christian Yelich. First delivery to him on the way. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Now. Come on, let's go. Swing and a liner. Foul. Line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. The left fielder, number 30. In the <laughs> Michael Conforto. So go after into foul territory. He's two for three and looking for more here. It's way the 0-1 pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Going out now, no one out. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. A little bit off the outside, it's 1-2. and two. Skied down the left field line. And no one will track it down. McNeil at second, Yelich at first with no outs. To two balls and two strikes now. And it's late to his afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as the guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Derek Law answers the call now, the looking to get this one on to the ninth inning without now any trouble. And batting in the sixth spot, number 64, Derek Law. Now catching and batting nine, number 36, John Ryan. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. Started as we give you a final look at the line score here and what turned out to be a blowout victory.
Well, heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. today. The Brewers win the opener here in the division series. Max Hamilton is the winning pitcher of record. Jacob deGrom permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Time of the ball game. Four hours and 33 minutes.